Hello Pisces couples. I am Phoenix Rising and if you're hearing my voice you're watching my channel. If you're new to my channel and you're a new Pisces, thanks for coming. You can click like, subscribe, you can share me. <clears throat> Excuse me guys. And if you are a returning Pisces couple, thanks for coming back. Um, you should either have Pisces in your birth chart, if you're not a Pisces, or in, in your spouse's birth chart. Um, you can look on other videos as well if this one doesn't resonate. Um, I'm doing a love spread. This is good until June 13th. It starts today. I'm a day late, so I apologize. Um, I did a four card spread. You get to ask a question now. I flipped the question at the end. The answer, I mean, at the end. Nothing too serious. Um, I got to turn the cards facing you guys. Because you guys, I'm, I looked at them that way. So you guys, so let me turn them around. They're backwards. Sorry, guys. Sorry, I usually already have done that part. I just look down like, okay, that don't look right. You guys can see what I can see. Okay, there we go. Sorry. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I did the um, four card spread. This is your first card. We're going that way. And then I did um, a question. So, here's your answer. Nothing too serious because you need a reading for that. And I did the game card spread at the bottom. And... I'm going to jump right into it, Pisces couple. Um, at the head of your read, you got the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands represents um, something not getting started, not movement. This could represent Leo, Sagittarius, or um, Aries. You could be in a relationship with, or it could be in their birth chart. This is frustrated with a new start, something that's just not moving fast enough. It's like you want something to start, and you're like, okay, what's up? You ain't no movement, and you've been waiting. It's like, okay, what's up? <laughs> this is also um, a broken promise. Someone that makes a lot of promises, they ask, can't keep, does nothing that they say they're going to do. This is also um, something about a pregnancy. This could either be like an abortion or ugh, uh, uh, infertility, but this is something doing with a pregnancy. Um, and your spouse could have caused you some money issues too for some taking how it resonates. Um, this is someone though um, having selfish like, like they're real selfish and it's causing uh, difficulties in the relationship. This is also someone that throws a tantrum. Okay. Like a little baby acting like a kid. The Queen of Wands, she's in reverse. This is the Big Bitch card. It does not have to be you. It could be somebody interfering. It, take it how it resonates. This is someone who talks behind someone's back. This is uh, vengeful, unfaithful. This is uh, quick to take offense. Like, you can't tell this person nothing. They, like, can't be told. This is somebody you go the other way from when you see them. Like, y'all could be in the crowd. Like, uh -uh, go, go, go. Like, this is someone strong will, and this is also a female um, infidelity issues. Like, so this has got something to do with cheating. You or your partner got something to do with cheating. This is also a female trying to blackmail someone. You or your partner for someone taking how it resonates. Uh, this is someone loss of confidence, moody. This is depressed. This could be jealousy. This is somebody that bring others down or have nothing positive to say. You don't want to be around them. Just a real negative vibe. Like, nasty attitude. This can be a, a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries woman. It does not have to be, but she's definitely being a queen of bitch. Um, what was I going to say about this card, too? I was going to say something else. Um, yeah, she is also... Um, This is someone that won't look at themselves and make no changes. Like, you can't be told nothing. It don't have to be you. It could be somebody intercepting. Somebody never wrong, never take responsibility. This is like someone with no power. They can be mean. 
she doesn't respect others and no one respects her this is also liar and malicious didn't say it was you now um like I said because it could be your partner you got the four of cups and it is upright this is weariness this is inject enthusiasm this is dissatisfaction like I'm not satisfied with this shit at all this is also too if you look a hand is offering somebody something you know it could be you or your partner and you see the arms folded like I don't want that shit Somebody offering something and not wanting it. Like, I, mm -mm, I'm good. I'm straight. This is reject, ignore. This is also um, like somebody blowing up your phone, texting, calling, keep calling, emailing, you ignoring the shit out of them or they ignoring the shit out of you. This is someone just not interested in their own damn world. You or your partner. Um, and they like, I don't even need to accept the offer. This is somebody feeling abandoned. Um, this is also someone not accepting help. And somebody trying to get get you out of a dark space. Or either you or your partner. Like you need to help. You need to let me listen. But you're not listening. Stuck. Bored. You could be bored with your partner. Stuck. Not moving. Your partner could have gotten comfortable with you. And you're like okay it's time to spice it up. I'm sick of this shit. I'm bored. Could be dealing with a cancer, another cancer. I mean, a Pisces, another Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Your last card, you got the Two of Cups. This is the beginning of a friendship or love. <clears throat> this don't have to be your partner. It could be. It don't have to be. Um, take it how it resonates, but. This is like um, an agreement. This is more of a friendship than love. It can be love because it's cups, it's emotions, but it's like a bond. Attracted to. It's like somebody finding you pretty or finding you handsome, attractive. This is having common ground. Connecting on an emotional level with this person. Sharing stories with each other. You get each other like best friends. This is eye contact. This is also communicating without any words like just eye straight eye contact no talking just you can just look at somebody this is like emotional connection it can be love but it, it may not be just depends you know because you would have got the lover's card but it's still a bond though like and i was gonna say oh yeah and with the four of cups too um to me, this also means no movement, um, like too comfortable, flat line board space. This is somebody wanting to be isolated and wanting some alone time to think, not wanting to be bothered. And depression for somebody. It's like, I want to be alone, so don't be offended by it. Don't take offense. Not ready to talk. And this is somebody focused on you and only you. Take how it resonates. And then you got, for your first game card, you got go all in or get the fuck out. Simple as that. Then you got <clears throat> your friends miss your face. They need you and you need them. Then you got Sit back and relax. Oral love is in your future. Then you got, just say those five little words. You decide where we eat. And last but not least, you got, you fucked up. Yeah, it's your fault. Fill in the blank. I'm sorry. You or your partner. Take him how it resonates. This doesn't have to be you. It could be your partner. The partner might have fucked up. 
And here's your answer. The universe says yes. Okay, Pisces couples, this has been your love read. This is good until June 13th starts today. I'll be back to do singles. Um, like I said, click like, subscribe, share me. I thank you guys for watching. Again, I'm Phoenix Rising. I'm sending you guys love and light. Thanks. Bye.